Good morning, friends. Welcome to Preschool Storytime with Miss Natalie. I bet you can guess what we're gonna talk about this week by looking at my table of books here. We are gonna start talking about Halloween things this week. This week isn't about Halloween exactly, but we are talking about something super important to Halloween. And if you're looking at my table and you're thinking about pumpkins or jack-o'-lanterns, you would be right. This week is all about pumpkins, which is super important for Halloween, isn't it? Yeah, it really is. Well, I can't wait to get started, so let's get started with our first book. Friends, the first book I'm going to share with you is about a really big pumpkin. Once there was a witch who wanted to make pumpkin pie, so she planted a pumpkin seed. She weeded and watered, and soon a pumpkin grew and grew and grew. Soon, Halloween was hours away. The witch thought about her pumpkin pie and bent down to take her pumpkin off the vine. Wow. Well, she pulled and she tugged and she pulled. She pulled hard and pulled harder, but that pumpkin just sat. Drat, said the witch. Along came a ghost. Big pumpkin, said the ghost. It's big in its mind, but it's stuck on a vine, and Halloween's just hours away, said the witch, and she kicked that pumpkin. I am bigger and stronger than you. Let me try, said the ghost. Hmm, said the witch. But she thought about pumpkin pie and stepped aside. The ghost bent down to take the pumpkin off the vine. Well, he pulled and he tugged and he pulled. He pulled hard and harder, but the pumpkin just sat. Drat, said the ghost. Along came a vampire. Big pumpkins of the vampire. It's big and it's mine, but it's stuck on the vine, and Halloween is just hours away, said the witch, and she kicked that pumpkin. I am bigger and stronger than both of you, said the vampire. Let me try. Hmph, said the ghost and the witch. But they thought about pumpkin pie and stepped aside. The vampire bent down, and he pulled and he tugged and he pulled. He pulled hard and harder, but the pumpkin just sat. Drat, said the vampire. Just then, along came a mummy. Big pumpkin, said the mummy. It's big and it's mine, but it's stuck on the vine, and Halloween's just hours away, said the witch, and she kicked that pumpkin. I am bigger than all of you and stronger, both of them. Let me try. Hmm, said the witch, the ghost, the vampire. But they thought about pumpkin pie and stepped aside. The mummy bent down and took the pumpkin off the vine. While she pulled and she tugged and she pulled, she pulled hard and then harder, but the pumpkin just sat. Drat, said the mummy. Just then, along came a bat. Big pumpkin, said the bat. The witch didn't say a word. She looked at the ghost and rolled her eyes. Who looked at the vampire? Who looked at the mummy? Who all looked at the bat? And they started to laugh. I may be, not be big, and I may not be strong, said the bat, but I have an idea. And the bat told them what to do. Hmph, said the witch, the ghost, the vampire, and the mummy. Ooh, they're getting in line. Ready, set, pull, called the bat. The bat pulled the mummy, who pulled the vampire, who pulled the ghost, who pulled the witch, who pulled the pumpkin. Well, they pulled and they tugged and they pulled. First they pulled hard, then they pulled harder, and snap, off came the pumpkin. Drat, said the witch. Whoosh. It flew and flew and thunk, landed at the top of the hill, and the bump, the bump, the bump, it bounced all the way to the witch's house. And when it got to the door, the pumpkin just sat. Hooray for the bats out of the witch, and she hurried inside to make pumpkin pie. Mmm, said the ghost. Can I have some more, said the witch. Couldn't eat another bite, said the vampire. Fun party, said the mummy. Time to go, said the bat. Drat, said the witch, as she watched them all leave. Then she went right out and planted another pumpkin seed. Well, that must be one big pumpkin if it took a witch and a mummy and a vampire and a ghost and a bat to get it off the vine. But I bet it made, I bet it made some real good pumpkin pie. And friends, now it's time for us to sing a song together. We are going to sing about some pumpkins sitting on a gate. So we're gonna need our five fingers. Let's put five fingers up. Let's sit up nice and tall. Let's take a deep breath in. 
and out. <sighs> and let's get ready to sing our song. The song is called Five Little Pumpkins. Five little pumpkins sitting on a gate. The first one said, oh my, it's getting late. The second one said, there are witches in the air. And the third one said, but we don't care. The fourth one said, let's run, run and run. The fifth one said, I'm ready for fun. Ooh, went the wind and out went the light and the five little pumpkins rolled out of sight. Good job. Let's sing that together one more time. And we'll sing it a little faster since we got to learn the song already. Ready? Let's get our five fingers up. Ready? Let's count to three. One, two, three. Five little pumpkins sitting on a gate. The first one said, oh my, it's getting late. The second one said, there are witches in the air. And the third one said, but we don't care. The fourth one said, let's run and run and run. The fifth one said, I'm ready for fun. Ooh, went the wind and out went the light and the five little pumpkins rolled out of sight. Good job. That is one of my favorite Halloween songs to sing. This story, friends, we're gonna learn how pumpkins grow and what you can do with them in our book, It's Pumpkin Time. I love this story. Oh, I love all stories I read. All summer long, my brother and I get ready for our favorite holiday. Can you guess what it is? What do you think? Halloween! And can you guess what we do to get ready? We plant a jack-o'-lantern patch. First, I turn the soil with the shovel and my brother uses the spade to dig narrow rows, one inch deep. Then we drop, drop, drop in pumpkin seeds and cover them with soil. We water them and wait for the sun to warm them. Soon the seeds grow tiny roots and small green shoots poke up out of the ground. The shoots grow into vines and the vines grow longer. Every week we water them and pull up lots of weeds. Soon we see buds where flowers will bloom. The yellow flowers show us where our pumpkins will grow. There's the mini pumpkin. Wow. At first, the pumpkins are green and tiny. It's gonna happen to them. But they grow bigger and bigger. Soon it is fall and our great big crumb pumpkins change color from green to yellow to orange. Now they are ready to be picked. We have never grown such big pumpkins. Mom and Dad help us cut the pumpkins from the vines. We gather them in a wheelbarrow and take them home. It's Halloween at last. We draw faces on our pumpkins. Mom and Dad help us cut them, hollow them out, and light candles inside. Now they are jack-o'-lanterns. This one is my favorite. Can you guess what we do next? We put in our costumes. It's time to trick or treat. Happy Halloween. What a fun book. It's so much fun learning how pumpkins grow, especially because we have so much fun playing with them and making jack-o'-lanterns and seeing what everyone else does with their pumpkins too. Friends, for our yoga pose today, we are gonna learn how to become pumpkins and pumpkin flowers. Now, I can't do these poses with you today, but I'm gonna sit and I'm gonna tell you how to do them. And since you are all such smart friends, I know that you're gonna be able to use your listening ears and use your brunoggins and your brain power and do a great job. 
So when we want to be a pumpkin flower, you're going to take the heel of your foot right here and your feet right here, and you're going to push them together, kind of like you're clapping your feet together on the ground. And then you can sway in the breeze and be a pumpkin flower that sways in the breeze. You can crouch down low like this and be a small pumpkin flower or put your arms up and be a big pumpkin flower because pumpkin flowers are all different sizes. Did you do it? You did a great job. Good job. And now we're going to learn how to be pumpkins. And this is one of my favorite poses. You are going to lie down on your back and bring your knees into your chest and give yourself a big hug. So wrap your arms around your knees and squeeze, squeeze, squeeze and give yourself a hug. You can rock back and forth. Maybe like you're trying to roll down a hill. Maybe you're like a pumpkin in our story we read with the witch that rolled down the hill to the end of her house. Or maybe you want to be a still pumpkin and you're lying on flat ground. Whatever kind of pumpkin you want to be, I bet it looks so fun. Good job. And when you're ready, you're going to come out of being a pumpkin. You're going to let your knees go and you're going to sit back up and we're going to take one yogi breath together. Are you ready? Breathe in and out. <sighs> Good job, friends. I hope you enjoyed learning how to be a pumpkin flower and a pumpkin. We got to do two yoga poses today. It's so exciting. My last story to share with you today is about a bunch of animals who find a pumpkin. They're not really sure what it is. This is called, It's a Pumpkin. They found it in the middle of the road. What is it, Fieldmouse asked. It looks kind of familiar. I don't know, Squirrel said. It's a mystery. I'll tell you what it is, said Fieldmouse. It's in the way. They pushed it over so that it could roll. And it rolled and rolled all the way to the opossum's nap spot. Sorry, said Fieldmouse. What is it, opossum asked. That's just what we were wondering, said Squirrel. Opossum squinted at it and he sat on it. Hmm, he said, it's a chair. They all tried it. Pretty comfy, said Opossum. Disagree, said Squirrel. I don't think it's a chair, said Fieldmouse. A moment later, oops, of course it's not a chair, called the raccoon from her window. It's for eating. A moment later, she came down with a big plate of cookies. Get up from that chair, she told Opossum. I thought you said it wasn't a chair, he said. It's not, said Raccoon. It's a table. A table, said Fieldmouse. Are you sure? Please have some cookies, said Raccoon. I made too many. Opossum went to get cider. Rabbit family joined them, and the woodchuck too, and the party started. This is fun, said Woodchuck, but you call that a table? Actually, said Squirrel, we don't know what it is. I know one thing we can do with it, said Woodchuck. Come on. Woodchuck sat down next to the door to his burrow. See, he said, it makes a nice door stop. They carried the cookies and cider through the door and the party went on. The chipmunk stopped by and even three chickadees. This is great, said Squirrel. We never have large parties. Fieldmouse was pouring another cup of cider when the door went slam. Everyone stood to see Skunk standing there with a shy smile. Skunk said, Woodchuck, why did you move the door stop? I happen to know, she said, that that's not a doorstop. No kidding, said Squirrel, but what is it? I've seen it in people's houses, replied Skunk. It's a lamp. A lamp, said everyone. I'll show you, she said. Who's got a knife and a big spoon? And we'll need a candle. It made a very nice lamp. It had a jolly place and it flickered, and it made them all want to dance spooky dances. The party went on. But are you sure it's a lamp, Fieldmouse asked Skunk? What if someone, whoops, said Woodchuck. I think he bumped the pumpkin or the lamp. Knocks it over, finished Fieldmouse. The crowd looked at the broken mess. What is it now, whispered Raccoon. One of the rabbit twins sniffed at the pieces. I think it could be a pie, she said, like our grandmother used to make. Yes, said her brother, a big pie. We can make it. Everyone helped. Everyone takes some seeds, some said Woodchuck. They all helped connect from the party. 
and then it was time to go. Fieldmouse ate her seeds, squirrel stashed his away, Woodchuck slept all winter and saved his seeds for a snack, and by spring, everyone had forgotten about the party and it. They were busy with other things. One morning, Opossum was scurrying home when he saw something behind Woodchuck's burrow. Look, he said, it's a plant. Everyone watched it all summer. It's a big plant, said Raccoon. A few weeks later, Skunk said, wow, it's a flower. Look, called Woodchuck one day in September. It's a watermelon? I don't think so, said Chipmunk. It's too small. It's getting bigger, said the rabbits. It's getting orange, said Chickadee. It looks very familiar, said Field Mouse. I know what it is, said Squirrel. What, Opossum asked, what is it? It's time, answered Squirrel. It's time for a party. And he was right. Well, that pumpkin sure was a lot of things in that book. I think I liked the lantern and the pie the best, though. Because if you're, for an animal, a pumpkin may be a good size for a table, but for a grown-up or for a kid, I think it's a little too small. Friends, you did such a good job at story time today. We had so much fun with our pumpkin songs and our pumpkin books and learning all about pumpkin yoga. Well, I can't wait to see you next week. I love Halloween, so I have got some great Halloween story times coming up, and this pumpkin one was just the first. I hope you have a great rest of your Friday, and I'll see you next week. Bye!